Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Elements, you can use the Shape tools to create various vector shapes in a shape layer within an image. Like text, if you select a blank layer in the Layers panel and then use one of the Shape tools, the selected layer is converted into a shape layer. If you have a layer with existing content selected in the Layers panel and then use one of the Shape tools, a new shape layer is added to the Layers panel. The shape is filled with the currently selected foreground color by default, but you can change it. You can also use the settings within the Tool Options bar when you have a Shape tool selected to draw multiple shapes on a single layer, adding to the original shape drawn by clicking the Add to Shape Area button before drawing a second shape within the same selected shape layer. You can use the other buttons within the same section of the Tool Options bar to determine how overlapping shapes within a shape layer should interact with one another. To create a new shape, Click the Shape Tool button that appears in the toolbox, and then select the shape to draw from the choices shown at the left end of the Tool Options bar. To ensure the shape is placed into its own shape layer, be sure that the Create New Shape Layer button at the right side of the Tool Options bar is selected, which it should be by default. Before you draw the new shape, however, let's look at some of the options that you can set for the shape within the Tool Options bar. Now depending on the specific shape tool selected, the next section of the Tool Options bar displays any color, styles, and special tool options available for the tool. For example, you can use the Radius setting to set the rounding of corners if you selected the Rounded Rectangle Shape tool. Alternatively, if you selected the Custom Shape Tool button in the Tool Options bar, you will see a drop-down that lets you pick the type of custom shape to draw. The color drop-down, when clicked, displays the swatches panel. Here you can select a foreground color for the shape by double-clicking your desired color swatch choice. You can use the style drop-down to apply a layer style to the shape layer. In the next section, you will often see the size settings for the shape. Many times you will see a drop-down menu and a height and width text box appear here. You can use the drop-down to select the type of shape size to draw. The default setting of Unconstrained lets you draw a shape of any size you want by clicking and dragging. You can also select other choices from the drop-down menu, like Fixed Size, and then enter the exact width and height of the shape you want into the W and H text boxes. You can then just click into the image to make a shape of those exact dimensions. In the last section, you choose what type of interaction you want your shape to have with the selected shape layer. You can select Create a New Shape Layer to have the shape you draw in the image appear in a new shape layer. Click the Add to Shape Area button to add the shape you draw to the currently selected shape layer in the Layers panel. If you click Subtract from Shape Area, the shape will be removed from any existing shapes in the currently selected Shape Layer in the Layers panel. If you select the Intersect Shape Areas choice, the shape you draw only displays the foreground color in areas where the shape you draw intersects other previously drawn shapes in the selected Shape Layer. If you click the Exclude Overlapping Shape Areas button, the foreground color displays in the non-overlapping areas of shapes that overlap one another in the selected shape layer within the Layers panel. After making your selection, you can just click and drag to create a new shape. If you had selected the New Shape Layer option, then the shape appears as a new shape layer in the Layers panel. Otherwise, it interacts with the currently selected shape layer in the Layers panel using the setting prescribed by the options you set within the Tool Options bar. Note that if you click the Simplify button in the Tool Options bar after creating a shape, elements will rasterize the selected shape layer in the Layers panel into editable pixels in a normal layer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.